One of the most common questions I get from people who travel internationally is, do I need to carry cash? And if so, how much do I need to carry? The answer is yes, and it depends. A little cash for incidentals and tipping is important for any destination. But some countries still conduct many transactions in cash, and the only way to know is to ask. By the way, don't assume you know the answer. Some African countries, for example, are virtually cashless now, and they use cell phones to handle their transactions electronically. Some types of purchases are also traditionally cash only. For example, a few popular restaurants in urban areas and small vendors at farmers markets or flea markets only accept paper money. You may also decide to use cash in order to avoid certain credit card fees. Many credit cards impose fees on transactions that take place across the border. In order to steer clear of them, you'll have to use cash. Remember, withdrawing cash from an automatic teller machine could cost you a pretty penny too. A 2 to 3 percent foreign transaction fee and a 3 percent cash withdrawal fee, that's 7 percent just to access your money. Ouch! Send us your travel questions to travel at usatoday.com. For USA Today Travel, I'm Christopher Elliott.